man proposes, but God disposes, is a proverb full of meaning, conveying that man cannot claim supremacy over God, and whatever comes out as a result of man's intelligent pursuit cannot be claimed as his own doing without God's intervention. Man thinks that he can do anything he wants by his intelligence and self-efforts without the support of nature. Man has limited intelligence and knowledge of the outcome of his efforts and freedom. He is still under the controlling forces of nature, which he can neither understand, visualize, anticipate, nor control in advance. On June 29, 2020, we twins decided to leave San Fernando La Union to attend the birthday of my husband the following day, June 30, at Vegan City, Ilocos Sur. With us is a copy of the map of Ilocos Sur and prayers on COVID-19 downloaded from the internet which Twin Luz will pray in the different churches starting with the Church of Vegan when she goes back to San Fernando, July 1. My twin took scapulars to be placed on top of her outfit. The scapular of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, also known as the brown scapular, is the habit of both the Carmelite order and the Discal's Carmelite order. See, my twin Luz is smiling as we start our trip. However, while at the Budin Junction Post without travel documents, we were advised to go back to San Fernando La Union. We twins alternately pleaded to let us proceed but to no avail. The Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council personnel manning the quarantine post mentioned that the strict order came from the health office of Vegan City. They gave us their number to call after getting a permit to travel from the Philippine National Police. After talking with a city health officer who informed us that when we reach Vegan, Mila will be quarantined for 14 days, we turn back. Naturally, when something goes against our wish, we cannot blame somebody or ourselves but to say, man proposes but God disposes. Destiny is more powerful than free will of man. We started with our COVID-19 prayers in nine places. The parish at Sudipan was a good start for the parish priest came to join us at the church. We prayed before the image of our mother of perpetual health a gift of the confraternity of which I am the president. Most Holy Virgin Mary, Queen of the Rosary and Mother of Mercy, who has deigned to come to Fatima to reveal to the three little shepherds the treasures of graces hidden in the recitation of the Rosary. Inspire our hearts and the hearts of all the faithful with a sincere love of this devotion, trusting in your maternal mercy and grateful for the goodness of your immaculate heart. We beg you to hear our prayers 
and to answer the favors we so earnestly seek of you in this prayer. Namely, for a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic, for a prompt return to regular mass attendance with a revitalized devotion to and belief in Jesus' real presence in the most holy Eucharist, for a complete surrender to Jesus and His divine mercy, and for any other intentions we may offer. After our prayers, we receive the priest's blessings. Before we left, the priest gave us prayer cards of the Divine Mercy and a statue of Our Lady of Fatima. In turn, I handed a donation. At Bangar, I, Mila, approached a lady going out at the main gate of the church, informing her that we want to say our COVID-19 prayers. She gladly accompanied us to the side entrance of the church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes, we come to you like little Bernadette at the grotto. We pray with childlike trust in you. Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, when you appeared in Lourdes, you made it a holy sanctuary where many have obtained the cure of their infirmities, both spiritual and corporal. We pray with confidence for your holy intercession for the end of coronavirus. Holy Mother of the Rosary, we feel confident that your prayers on our behalf will be graciously heard by God. Immaculate Mother, show us your mercy. O Mother of God, remember, O Most Gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection Lord, that help or sought by intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. Saint Bernadette, pray for us. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer on an end to the coronavirus crisis. Loving God, we come before you in our time of need. We lay before you our concerns and fears over the spread of the coronavirus. We know that you are mightier than all our fears, and that the name of Jesus is the name above all other names. We ask in the name of Jesus that you stop the spread of the coronavirus. In your mercy, heal those who are sick and lead those who have died into your heavenly kingdom. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Pray for business owners and families facing financial distress. Jesus, we thank you for your faithfulness in how you have guided and equipped people in their jobs and have provided in the past. It can be scary and overwhelming not knowing 
how bills and obligations will be met or to not be able to provide for families. As people feel financial strain during the uncertainty, bring them comfort and peace, reminding them that you are there for them. Provide for them in their times of need. Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. Do not give to you as the world gives. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Pray for grocery store workers and delivery drivers. Lord, we are so grateful for all the people who continue to work each day so that people are able to eat. We ask that you bless and protect them as they serve. Give them grace to handle these granted customers during supply shortages. Keep their bodies healthy as they unload and stock boxes of supplies. Keep their cars and trucks running smoothly as they deliver needed supplies and food people have ordered online. And please protect them all from contracting the new coronavirus. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for His compassion never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Prayer for protection for people at high risk of developing the disease. Dear Lord, we lift to you our concern for people who are more likely than others to become severely ill from COVID-19, the elderly and people with chronic health conditions. Protect them from harm and be their comfort in this time of uncertainty and for many preventing isolation from loved ones. Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. A prayer for the sick, especially those suffering from the coronavirus. Loving God, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to heal the sick. We ask you to come to our aid in the midst of the coronavirus crisis, that we too may experience your healing love. We ask you to heal those who are sick, calm those who are living in fear, be with those who have died, and comfort their families. Inspire health professionals to aid them in their healing work. Guide national leaders to lead and make decisions with wisdom. Help us to always be aware of your presence as we place our trust in you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Luz remembered a chapel at Tabok San Juan. Although it was closed, praying at the grotto was perfect. Coronavirus prayer for healthcare workers. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the lives and work of doctors, healthcare workers, medical researchers, and first responders who serve our communities. We pray for each of them as they diligently care for those who are suffering the coronavirus and work toward a cure for it. Lord, strengthen the resolve, grant them health in mind and body, and protect their families. Give them hope and surround them with your merciful love. Help them to be compassionate 
as they strive to heal those they serve. Come, Holy Spirit, fill each of these generous women and men with the gifts of courage, wisdom, perseverance, and mercy. Open their hearts to see Jesus in His distressing disguise in the people they assist. In the spirit of blessed Solanus Kase, we thank you ahead of time for accomplishing in them far more than all we ask or imagine. We pray this in the all-powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever. Amen. The St. John the Baptist Church at San Juan was also closed. But we pray before the statue of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Prayer of Pope Francis during the coronavirus crisis. Oh Mary, you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross to part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of the Roman people, know what you did, and we are sure you will provide, so that, as in Cana of Galilee, you may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon Himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. The Nuestra Señora the Salvation Chapel at Lingsat was closed, so I told Luz to get my picture at the facade. Then she saw a lady nearby who opened the chapel. Prayer to Our Lady of Guadalupe Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your son, as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving Mother, and gain for our nation and world, and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to rest and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you are truly our compassionate Mother, half of the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your Son, Jesus. Amen. I, I lose dropped by our house at Carleton to get some food for dinner. Then we proceeded to Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception Parish. The people near the church said that two priests just arrived. They were eager to help us 
that they rang the church bell until the priest came out to open the door. Pray for the new coronavirus to stop spreading. Almighty God, we know that everything is in your sovereign control. We ask that you keep this new coronavirus from continuing to spread. Give government officials the ability to safely handle people arriving from other countries. Help people decide to stay home instead of traveling or going out needlessly. Holy Spirit, remind people to wash their hands properly. And while it may be heartbreaking, comfort families as they decide to keep their distance from elderly or other high-risk family members. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. They name the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Leaders responsible for making decisions about the new coronavirus. Father, we seek your wisdom daily. Be with people making decisions that affect the lives and futures of our families, communities, countries, and the wider world. We pray that they communicate clearly, truthfully, and calmly with each other and with the public, and that their messages are received and heeded. May truth and empathy be that touchstones of people setting policies for our protection. He has delivered us from such a deadly peril, and he will deliver us again. On him we have set our hope that he will continue to deliver us as you help us by your prayers. Prayer for people who are infected with COVID-19 or facing quarantine. Jesus, during your ministry on earth, you showed your power and caring by healing people of all ages and stations of life from physical, mental, and spiritual ailments. Be present now to people who need your loving touch because of COVID-19. May they feel your power of healing through the care of doctors and nurses. Take away the fear, anxiety, and feelings of isolation from people receiving treatment or under quarantine. Give them a sense of purpose in pursuing health and protecting others from exposure to the disease. Protect their families and friends and bring peace to all who love them. My God, God. I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. I ask pardon of you for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly, and I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrageous, sacrilegious, and indifference with which he himself is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg of you the conversion of Poor sinners, amen. In the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We drop by 
Jollibee for breakfast as a birthday treat for my husband, Chico. In lieu of being with him on his birthday, I post this birthday greeting. Surely, with the sacrifice, God will repay. I take consolation at the word follow in the Gospels. One of the first uses of that word in all four Gospels is when Jesus calls his first disciples. The decision to follow Jesus meant that they had to leave some things behind. In essence, it meant that Jesus had to be the number one priority in their lives. He was first and all other things were subject to the decision to follow him. There is peace in obedience. We felt happy that we went to the different places praying for the time of the COVID-19 pandemic. And we felt God's presence guiding us get through successfully. Certainly, the picture of my husband with his friends of the Knights of Columbus speak that his special day was joyful.